I was coming to clean the vacant room, but I found it in turned down. So I have to make it back to the normal vacant clean room standards. It means I have to remove this sleep well card and I have to reorganize again the bed. Then after, I have to turn off the lights. I have to take off, to take off the slippers. To, uh, even the breakfast card. We will bring it in the evening for turn down. Secondly, I have to draw curtains. I have to take out this, I bring it back. Then for the last, I have to decorate again my bed as it's supposed to be during the day. Then I have to put back my bed runner. And always remember the five inch from down. Then after I have to dust, just to remove like few fluffs that might be on the table. At some point it's not even necessary to use the furniture polish in vacant room because it's already clean, but we have just to control the dust. So it means I'm going just to dust with a dry cleaning cloth. Wherever necessary, I might use the furniture polish, but by now, it's not really necessary. Because the room was already clean, but I found something wrong here on the face tissue. I have to follow my ways. I check here. I even check the reading table. The mirror is perfect. There is nothing on it. See that the TV is fine. There is no mark on it, just to remove small fluffs that is on it. After dusting, I have to go back to the bathroom and check also if the amenities and other room supplies are in place or are in really good condition. After dusting the vacant room, 
I have to dust also the bathroom and check if every amenities is in and if it is in the right place. Starting by here, you see that even this toilet paper is not well folded, so I need to fold it on the right in the right way so that it might look like unused yet. And it have to remain like this. And I have to check if the dust bin, pedal bin is empty, there is nothing in. And come back here, I flush. I have to come here also, I check for the mirror. There is no stain, even this one is fine. I have just to remove small dust that might be here. All the amenities still in. Even towels, I see they are fine. I'm sure everything is okay. I think I'm, I think that I'm done with the bathroom because for the for the vacant room there is no need of mopping. The, the bathroom daily. What you do, you first check for the amenities, but because we are not sure of the dust that is down, that's why I have to mop in the bathroom. Because even my foot that I'm using here is not good, so I'm going to mop in the bathroom. I have to respect the rules of mopping or the techniques that says that you have to start from the far end to the exit. After mopping, I have to spray in the air fresh for the pleasant smell that have to remain in the bathroom for the rest of the day. Now we are done by cleaning off the bathroom of the vacant room. The next, we can proceed with even mopping for, for, for the interest interest of the bathroom to the outside.
Now I'm going to pass on the last mop for drying because the first one it was for washing the floor, the second one for rinsing, and the third one for drying the floor. So our floor will remain clean, free from dust and mark and dry also. After making bed, dusting the guest room, clean the bathroom and replenishing all the amenities. The next point now is vacuuming the carpet. <laughs> After mopping, I have the, the other important point is, a, is spraying the air fresh in the room. And when you are spraying, go far from the drinks, from other furnitures, so the air freshener can't leave the mark on it. And secondly, after spraying, I have to make what we call last glance or personal supervision. So I have to check the entire room, if everything is neat, if everything is the, in the appropriate place, and it's a very important point to any room attendant. After checking my room, by making the last glance, I found that everything is okay. Now our room is clean, everything is in place, and the room is ready for the guest who was in, because this is an occupied room, and it's properly clean. Thank you very much, dear viewers, for your attention of this session. And I welcome you for the next lesson. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.